Hey guys, today I'm gonna make some strawberry jam. I thought I'd bring you along for a little quick video. So I bought a bunch of strawberries from the flea market yesterday. So I, yesterday I went ahead and cleaned them, destemmed them and chopped them up and I put them in a bowl with just like maybe two tablespoons of sugar just to kind of start breaking them down overnight and they sat in the fridge. And here I have my whole bowl of sugar that we add and I have my low sugar pectin then I have a quarter cup of sugar set aside, so I'm gonna put my pectin into there and mix it. And this is a low sugar variety. I'm gonna go, I'm doing a double batch. That's why this looks like so much sugar, which it is, but um, it's not something you eat by itself. So let's get to it. All right, I measured out about um, the amount of strawberries that I needed. I didn't crush them yet, so it wanted six cups of crushed strawberries. So I guesstimated about eight cups of strawberries before they're crushed. So as these cook down, they will start to um, get a little softer and I'll be able to crush them down a little bit. It looks like this pot may be a little bit too small, but I think once they crush down, it would be fine. I'm also doing some pineapple jelly here at the same time. So. Let me know if you want to see a video of that. I did video it the last time I did it, but um, I wasn't sure if anybody would really be interested in pineapple jelly. But I had the leftover juices from the scraps. So I just went ahead and used those. And it actually turned out really good. We've been eating it in some cottage cheese with some fresh fruit. Delicious. All right, so I'm gonna get to smashing these while they get warmed up and while this boils. All right, these are starting to heat up just a little bit and breaking down, so I went ahead and added my little mixture of sugar and pectin, and I'm hoping this will kind of finish helping the strawberries break down to where I can crush them down before we need to add in the sugar. All right, so I've come to a boil that I can't stir down. I'm going to add all of my sugar in at one time. I'm not quite sure if it's gonna fit. Say prayer. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I have to carefully do this now because I probably should have used a bigger pot. Um, but I'm just going to be really careful and it should be fine. So I'm going to stir this in and it's going to come back up to a boil, which it still looks like it's still kind of boiling. I'm going to wait until I get all of this mixed in. Then we'll boil it for one full minute and then it will be ready to jar up. All right, so it came up to its boil for um, a minute. It was very close to the top, so I didn't film it. I really needed to pay attention to it. And I finished skimming off some of the foam at the top. Um, there's still a little bit there, but I think it's all right. But I got quite a bit. Um, I'll use that for something. We'll see how it is when it cools down. So I have my jars ready. I'm gonna do these in full-size pipes since I have a bunch to do and We use a lot of jam. Strawberry jam is our favorite. I did a bunch of different types of jams last year to kind of find out what I liked because I had never made jams before. And I tried doing like the natural pectin, like using the Granny Smith apples and stuff. And it was good, but it kind of had a little bit of an aftertaste to it, probably from the apples. So I'm gonna try, I've been trying to use just the regular pectin the low sugar. I still feel like that's still way too much sugar. All right, so we're going for a quarter inch headspace. Right about there. Got my vinegar. I did have some strawberry on the rim there, so you really want to make sure you get that. And clean lid and the band. And I'm going to go ahead and put this in my water bath canner. I got three jars here of the pineapple jelly and I'll, I'll just put them all together and they'll go in the water bath for 15 minutes. Uh, and normally, so, mo most of the time you do jams in like half pints and it's 10 minutes, so I like to add an extra five minutes and make it 15 minutes since I'm doing full pints. All right, you guys, I never usually forget this, but I forgot to debubble, so I grabbed it back out real quick. No harm, no foul. Debubbler tool all around there. Make sure you get all around the outsides. And see, that's why you do it. I could actually, it wasn't at the correct headspace there. 
So it did have a bubble in it, so I'm really glad I redid that one and I found it out real quickly. All right, so now I'll put this one back on in. All right, that used every last bit of my jam. I did do a quick freezer test just to make sure it was gonna gel and it is gelling up perfectly. So I have 11 jars in here and three of them are the pineapple jelly. So I have nine pint jars of strawberry jam, which will last us very nicely full for a year, which was my goal. All right, so I just got all of these out of the canner. Looks like they are really good. They're starting to seal. I can hear them. And here is the jam, strawberry jam. Looks beautiful, came out really nice. And then here is the pineapple scrap jelly that I made also. So this should be good enough to last us until next year.